Let's start with a big question. Why are you here? I don't mean this in a deep existential sense, like what is the purpose of life? I mean, why are you watching this video and considering taking this course on MATLAB programming, debugging, and style? I guess you're here because you're staring at your computer screen and it looks something like this. An empty MATLAB window with no code, no figures, no results. This is intimidating and it's upsetting. Uh, because instead, you want your computer screen to look like this. Full of clean, organized, commented, and error-free code. Beautiful graphs that show really interesting results. This is a screen that makes you feel good about yourself, makes you feel confident about your ability to do research, to get a better job, to do better in school, to understand math and engineering classes, um, or any other reason you have for learning to program. So the big question is, how do you get from a screen that looks like this to a screen that looks like this? Of course, the answer is hard work and effort, but don't worry, I'm here to help you out. This is what I look like. This is the face behind the disembodied voice that you'll hear in my videos. I've been teaching courses on programming, data analysis, statistics, time frequency analysis, linear algebra, and other related topics for almost two decades. I've also written several books about time series analysis, signal processing, and programming in MATLAB. Uh, these books are mostly focused on topics in neuroscience, but this course is much more broad and oriented towards any audience. The point is that I have a lot of experience teaching, and I have thought a lot about how to teach programming, signal analysis, and related technical issues. I want to tell you a little bit about my teaching philosophy. I believe that learning is an active process. If you want to maximize your learning, you have to be actively involved in the learning. That means turn off your TV, close Facebook, sit at a comfortable desk, straighten your back, and really focus for 15 minutes at a time. Of course, you're free to uh, sit on your couch in your underwear, drink a beer, and play with your phone while watching these lectures. But I don't think you're going to learn a whole lot that way. People learn best when learning is engaging, fun, and rewarding. When I teach in person, I have a lot of dialogue with students. I like to give out chocolates for good questions or answers. Um, of course, that's a bit more difficult uh, in uh, videos, but of course I do my best to try and keep you engaged. I believe strongly that the teacher and the student share responsibility for learning. The best teacher can't teach a student who doesn't care, and the best student will really struggle with a, a really crappy teacher. So I take my responsibility as a teacher seriously, and I hope that you will take this opportunity to take your responsibility as a student seriously. For my part, I try to explain concepts in words and pictures, I try to be clear, uh, most importantly, I try to have a lot of hands-on examples in MATLAB uh, so you can get some hands-on experience. Um, in addition to the many examples that I give, I also uh, provide a lot of exercises that you can work on. I think that repetition is good. When I repeat material, you don't have to assume that I'm a senile old man and I've forgotten everything I've said. At least I'm not so old yet. Instead, when I repeat material, it's because I think the concept is really important and it's worth discussing again. You know, most people are brainwashed into thinking that mistakes are bad, and if you make a, mis a lot of mistakes, it's because you're not learning well. But that's totally not true. It's exactly the opposite. Mistakes are great. Mistakes are the best way to learn. You should be happy when you make a mistake because it's an opportunity to figure out why you made the mistake and learn from it. You should be happy when you made a mistake because it's a good opportunity to learn, to improve yourself, and to take one more step towards being a great programmer. Just make sure you learn from your mistakes as opposed to continuously making mistakes. That's the important part. Finally, real learning takes time and it takes effort. Sure, it may take only a few weeks to become a moderately okay beginner programmer, but becoming an expert programmer takes years of practice, active learning, and quite a bit of effort. And you should be suspicious of anyone telling you that they can make you an expert programmer in a week. 
So that's a bit about my general teaching philosophy. I'd like to tell you a few words about this course in particular and how best to learn in this course. Before watching the lectures, download the accompanying uh, MATLAB code so you can go through the scripts line by line with me uh, during the videos. There will be many opportunities for you to pause the video and work through the problems in the script before watching how I solve them. This is a great way to learn and to see that there are multiple solutions to the same problem. Each section of the course has a course reader uh, in PDF form. The reader will remind you of the key points from the lectures and I also present some new material. Most important, do the exercises in the course reader. Those will help you solidify the learning material uh, and sometimes I also present additional material in the exercises. I also provide solutions to all the exercises so you can compare your solutions against my solutions. Just keep in mind that there's always several ways to solve the same problem. So if your code looks a little bit different from mine, then don't worry, that doesn't mean your solution is wrong. The important point is that you got the correct answer. This may sound strange, but I recommend doing the exercises the second time, at least a few days or a week after you solve them the first time. You'd be surprised how much more you can learn by solving the same problem a second time. So, I'm going to repeat myself here, but you already know that I like to repeat important ideas. It's really important for you not to feel bad about making mistakes. You should embrace your mistakes, learn from them, and have a positive attitude. Just make sure you're learning from your mistakes, not just making mistakes and moving on. If you enjoy this course, I hope you'll consider taking some of my other courses. This one on MATLAB programming is the first, so perhaps some or maybe uh, all of these courses are not yet available at the time you're watching this, but this list gives you an idea of the kinds of course topics that will be available in the near future. So, I hope you found this interesting and inspiring, and I hope to see you soon in one of my courses.